Hello, in this video we will understand about the physiology and function of the dopamine receptor in neurogenesis and what is the function of the dopamine. In this video we will look at the quick overview about the dopamine and the, their receptor. So basically the dopamine is the neurotransmitter present in the brain as a central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system but central nervous system is the major 80%. Dopamine control various physiological function in the brain and periphery, periphery by acting on its receptor D1, D2, 3, 4 and 5. Dopamine receptors are G protein coupled receptors involved in the regulation of motor activities and several neurological disorders such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, Parkinson's disease, Torrity syndrome hyperactivity and attention deficit disorder, Huntington's disease. This all disease due to the uh, imbalance of the dopamine uh, decrease or increase on the basis of situation related to the disease. But in this video we will not explain about each type of disease but I hope I will make a new video separately for each disease. Motor function and non-motor such as motivation, cognition, emotion, and neuroendocrine secretion. For example, the release of the hormone from the pituitary gland by the stimulation of the dopamine like epinephrine and norepinephrine as well as the secretion through a dopaminergic neuron to the adrenal gland or other. So this is the dopamine pathway, which that is the VTA, the ventral tegmental, tegmental area, as substantia nigra will stimulate the dopamine, will target to the striatum, hypothalamus and pituitary gland, as well as the frontal lobe. This is the dopamine pathway. So the two population of dopamine receptor, adenylate cyclase dependent and independent stimulation, D1-like and D2-like. Ability to regulate the cyclic AMP generation relative density of dopamine receptor from the D1 is more ability than the D2 and D3, D5 first and then D4. This is the respectively. Let's begin to understand the dopaminergic neuron when release the dopamine target to the G couple protein receptor D1 receptor. After when bind with a G copper protein receptor, it means it basically uh, synapse and the uh, basically the different tissue synapse. So the D1 receptor, and the D1 like are, are two types of GPCR D1 and D5 are present in the striatum, cardioputamen and nucleus accumbens and the somatic. Uh, uh, somatosensory uh, uh, nucleus and the uh, optic bulb stimulate the adenylate cyclase enzyme by the activation will lead to cascade of phosphorylation to activate the protein kinase A and the calcium dependent protein kinase A also the IP3 pathway will lead to cytoplasmic calcium increase and the protein kinase C will target the as a transcription factor to the DNA to translate that protein which regulation of reward, locomotion, activity, learning and memory. For example, the LTP, long term potens potentiation, the long term memory as well as the short term memory, synaptogenesis. But this is the normally because protein kinase A will inhibit the sodium potassium ATPase channel and in this way it will be short term memory and it will basically uh, inhibit the development. But here is the uh, autoreceptor dopamine 2 which that inhibit the adenylate cyclase activity but this D2 receptor subtypes have two isoforms D2 receptor short and long type receptor in the brain. Basically, it triggers the striatum, external globus pallidus, 
core of the nucleus accumbens amygdala cerebral cortex and hippocampus is used for the long term memory and pituitary gland so remember the auto receptor d2 is used for the long term memory how it is possible let's here discuss the decrease the neuronal excitability dopamine synthesis and decrease the uh, and packaging decrease inhibit dopamine release and stimulate brain development during fetal development because the decrease the neural neuronal excitability but take rest to uh, neurogenesis as well as the cyto synaptogenesis neuroplasticity mean the synapse will increase for more learning and more memorization so the map kinase and akt will trigger dendritic arborization mean the dendrites will increase in uh, a, a dopaminergic neurons from the mouse embryo so that is why the when the fetus after the birth one year or two years baby will not learn quickly and forget everything so that is why because synaptogenesis is continuously working so let's begin to understand the input this is the input for example any environmental input will lead to higher brain cortex receive and transmit to the striatum subcortical structure striatum is a subcortical structure through a glutamate glutamate will target to the striatum and the striatum here is you can see the caudate and putamen nucleus and globus pallidus substantia nigra is also used the subst substantia nigra uh, is uh, and on the other hand the basically um, a substantia nigra uh, com uh, compacta is used for the uh, positive feedback so the dorsal striatum contain caudate nucleus and putamen nucleus while the ventral striatum contain nucleus accumbens and olfactory tubercles this striatum collectively re collectively release after the processing that stimulus will lead to trigger the substantia nigra through gaba to inhibit sorry so after the inhibition will lead to substantia nigra when inhibit so the glutamate will be uh, possible to not release to the substantia nigra reticulata in this way the inhibit of this if the gaba will not produce so the glutamate will be trigger the substantia nigra reticulata will trigger the thalamus to hippocampus and for memory but this is the another pathway let's begin to understand this is the thalamus used for the motor control movement thoughts behavior and emotion through hippocampus also but remember the uh, substantia nigra compacta is used for the production of dopamine and here you can see this is the substantia nigra will produce to target the striatum and in this way when go the striatum target to the striatum substantia nigra compacta will produce the dopamine excitation to brain and striatum and to the brain and target to the thalamus and when target to the thalamus bind with the dopamine due to the substantia nigra compacta will responsible for the production of dopamine input to the output this output produce the target to the hippocampus for memory so the motor control etc is a learning process so the in this video we have discussed about the dopamine function and the basal ganglia on the basis of dopamine release from the substantia nigra compacta for target to the thalamus and thalamus target to the hippocampus through a uh, glutamate will lead to activate the memory learning and motor control movement thoughts behavior and emotion i hope you make sense about the dopamine function so next video we will understand about the another topic the long term potentiation ltp thanks for watching bye